Get ready for a summer scorcher, because heartthrob Yang Yang is about to dominate your screen in the epic ancient fantasy drama The Immortal Ascension. This big-budget bad boy is rumored to be dropping sometime around summer break, and teasers are already blowing up online. Yang Yang's not just looking pretty this time. Although, let's be real, dude could cure world hunger with a smile. Apparently, he's been busting his butt training, because his fight scenes are smooth as butter. We're talking Jackie Chan-level agility, folks. Forget those cheesy wire foo fights, Yang Yang's bringing the real deal. The hype is unreal, we're talking tens of millions of views online, and enough chatter on Weibo to drown out your grandma's bingo night. This show's based on a popular novel by Wang Yu, and it follows the story of Han Li, a total nobody from a nowhere village. This schmuck accidentally stumbles into a small martial arts sect, basically the X-Men school for rejects, except way more swords and way less spandex. Han Li might be a talentless dud at first, but through sheer hard work and maybe a sprinkle of plot armor, he becomes a badass immortal cultivator. Think of it as a fantasy version of Joy of Life, but instead of political maneuvering, it's all about battling demons, navigating immortal politics, which are probably just as messy, and maybe finding a little romance along the way. If the production quality lives up to the hype, this show could be a massive hit. Yoku, the streaming platform behind it all, is definitely betting big on this one. They're even whispering rumors about sequels, so get ready to be obsessed for a while. Here's the thing, the director of this show is the same genius who brought us a dream of splendor, which basically ruled the historical drama scene. So, with that kind of guidance, there's a good chance Yang Yang won't be phoning it in this time. Plus, he's starring opposite Jin Chen. And let's be real, sparks are gonna fly between these two. The production company threw us a bone with some special excerpts, and Yang Yang is looking sharp. Forget stiff, this dude's channeling his inner action hero in the fight scenes. And let's not forget the fashion, rocking both white and light green robes like a total boss. The internet is already buzzing with over 10 million views on the excerpts, and people are freaking out, in a good way, about Yang Yang's performance. Look, Fireworks of My Heart might have been a dud, but the Immortal Ascension is shaping up to be a total redemption arc. Yang Yang, this is your chance to wash away those bad reviews and show everyone why you're a leading man. Li Yithong basically stole the show last year. Remember love between fairy and devil and the knockout? Yeah, she was all over them, kicking butt and taking names. And let's not forget her sizzling chemistry with Chung Yi in Hero Legends and Fox Spirit matchmaker Sword and Beloved. Girls on a roll. Sure, she's known for her delicate features, but don't let that fool you. This actress ain't afraid to shed the princess vibes and get down and dirty. Remember Demon Girl? She absolutely crushed it as the lead, Nie Ching Chung. The drama became a monster hit, racking up a crazy 3.3 billion views. Talk about a debut. She even returned for season two, solidifying her place as a rising star with serious staying power. Now she's busy filming a dream within a dream with Liu Yuning, and the stills already look amazing. Think gorgeous costumes, killer makeup. This drama has all the makings of a summer blockbuster. But Li Yithong isn't just about fairy tales and ancient fantasies. She's proving her range by diving headfirst into the world of suspense with Tell No One alongside the ever-charming Oh Hao. Their characters in Tell No One have a sweet backstory, a cute childhood connection that tugs at the heartstrings. But then, life throws them a curveball. Gao Yang confesses his love right before disappearing for six years as a secret agent. Talk about a cliffhanger. Fast forward to present day, and Zheng Dongyu, now a cop, ends up arresting him during a raid. Awkward doesn't even begin to describe it. Here's where things get even more complicated. Zheng Dongyu's dad, also a cop, mysteriously died on a mission with Gao Yang. But she's not buying the official story for a second. She has that fire in her eyes that steely determination that screams, I won't rest until I find the truth. And the truth, it seems, is buried deep in a tangled web of conspiracy involving top officials, missing time, and who knows what other secrets. Buckle up because tell no one sounds like one heck of a wild ride, a suspenseful roller coaster with a side of sizzling romance. Netizens are already calling tell no one a dark horse contender for this year's suspense dramas. With a hot romance that'll leave you wanting more, and a conspiracy that's thicker than pea soup, it's got all the ingredients for an addictive watch. Keep an eye on Li Yithong. This chick is going places, and she's definitely not afraid to mix things up along the way. Brace yourselves because Jing Boron just ditched his Mr. Nice Guy image and went full-blown bad boy in the new drama Regeneration. This suspense thriller, 
based on the crazy popular novel Fake a Duan Yan, has been topping charts left and right, leaving even a listers like in the name of the brother and men in love in the dust. And let me tell you, this drama deserves all the hype, it's got a plot that'll twist you up like a pretzel, unexpected turns at every corner, and cinematography so slick it could be a wet dream for Christopher Nolan. But what really sets regeneration apart is the acting. Remember Jing Boron as the sweet husband in Road Home? Yeah, forget about that, in regeneration, he transforms into Feka, a smooth talking scammer with more faces than a deck of cards. This dude's a master manipulator. We're talking swindling rich women and their mothers-in-law, leading his own wife down a dark path, the whole shebang. It's dark, it's twisted, and Jing Boron absolutely nails it. He flips between charming dude and cold-blooded villain like a light switch, and that chilling smile when he pulls off a scheme, pure nightmare fuel in the best way possible. But Jing Boron isn't the only one bringing the heat. Zhou Yiran plays the mysterious journalist Ha Shan, whose connection to Feika is shrouded in secrecy. She doesn't have a ton of screen time yet, but every scene she's in is a mind-bender. You can tell there's a whole backstory brewing there, and her calm and collected demeanor just makes you want to dig deeper. Then there's the veteran acting duo of Wang Yanhui and Huang Jue. They play Feiku's father-in-law and shady financial friend, respectively. These guys paint two completely different pictures of Feika. One sees him as a well-educated, successful businessman, while the other thinks he's a naive grad student, Wang Yanhui and Huang Jue absolutely kill it with their expressions and delivery, especially their relaxed interactions with Jing Boron, which only add to the whole fake -a mystery. So, if you're looking for a suspenseful drama with a killer cast and a plot that'll keep you guessing, Regeneration is your jam. Just be prepared to have your brain twisted into a knot. This one's not for the faint of heart. Hold on to your wigs, drama fans, we're diving into the wild world of the substitute princess's love, starring hot new actress Zhang Miaoyi and the ever-charming Guo Pinchao. So, the story goes like this, a wedding crisis. General Wen Ye, the kingdom's heartthrob, is presumed dead right before his big day, public mourning reigns, but cancelling the ceremony is a PR nightmare. Enter Madame Shen, the desperate mother with a crazy solution. Drag her illegitimate daughter, Shen Kui, back from her free life and marry her off to the supposedly deceased general, just as Shen Kui adjusts to her new royal life, a twist. The very much alive Wen Ye returns, Shen Kui, now accidentally married into royalty, must navigate her awkward position as queen. But there's more, the stoic general, a man of action, hides a secret heroism that binds him to Shen Kui in an unexpected way. Buckle up for a hilarious clash of personalities, accidental royalty, and a dash of hidden heroism. Speaking of Zhang Miaoyi, this is basically her third rodeo in the land of sweet romance dramas. The girl loves love, what can I say? And let's be honest, even though Guo Pinchao is like old enough to be her dad, the man still looks good. Due to ages like fine wine, minus the whole turning into vinegar part. Apparently, there's a ton of cute moments between these two in the drama, and Zhang Miaoyi is out here living her best life watching fan edits on the internet. You gotta love actors who appreciate their shippers. If you're looking for a drama with a fun plot, some steamy, well, hopefully not literally steamy considering the whole crippling thing, romance, and a dash of, wait, what the heck is happening? Then The Substitute Princess's Love is your jam, you can find it on iqiyi and iq.com, so go forth and binge watch. And hey, thanks for sticking around. Don't yell at me for making you spend hours glued to your screen, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and see you next time.